like I lied to you guys because I just couldn't wait to do this. Hey everyone, it's Ashley and welcome back to my channel. Honestly, first of all, thank you for going through this journey with me, uh, my Bring Me the Horizon journey, because it's absolutely insane uh, hearing <laughs> their very old stuff to their new stuff that I love and post human next gen was the first album I got into bring me the horizon although I do know a couple maybe one song off a couple old albums but again I didn't know it was bring me the horizon so this has been really exciting I finished my journey with suicide season <laughs> you can go watch that reaction but a lot of people told me just skip count your blessings now I do everything in full when I set my mind to something I do it but I know a lot of you have been begging and asking me to do the Royal Albert Hall performances so we're doing that today we'll do count your blessings after like I'm not missing anything a lot of you told me not even to bother which is pretty messed up but then a lot of people also said the band isn't even like that album anymore so that can't be good I'm gonna watch it anyway but for now I really want to watch these Royal Albert Hall performances. Now, disclaimer, the only live show I've ever seen from Bring Me the Horizon is their video with Aurora when they did Limousine in Japan. That is it. I have not seen any other live performance from this band. I know. So this will be a treat since it's probably a fan favorite and it will give me an idea of what they're like live. But seeing that Japan video with Aurora who I adore and if you don't know I do Aurora Tuesdays on my channel so check that out I have a feeling this is gonna be epic but also I'm just blown away by that performance alone in Japan that I am stoked to get the chance to see them live so I really do hope they come back to Toronto one day but for now let's watch this it's gonna be a long one uh, I'm gonna try my best not to edit too much out but as always, the full unedited version is on Patreon. And if this does get blocked on YouTube, it is free on Patreon for all of you Bring Me the Horizon fans who've wanted to see this reaction. So enjoy. Let's get into this. This is going to be loud. Ugh, I don't have coffee or water or nothing. I might have to pause. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is with an orchestra. I'm gonna die. This will also give you guys a chance to see how many songs I know. <laughs> I'll try not to sing along. chills I have, you guys. Wow. Crowd clapping.
introduction. Holy shit. Oh man, this would have been sick to be at. God, I'm getting chills from the orchestra. This is magical already. me right now we have to talk about this what was that okay obviously i love the song doomed but that orchestra took it to the next level you guys what the hell that was insane first of all ollie's voice is absolutely stunning can i just say that he sounds amazing live 
perfection. The band sounds epic. I didn't even know there was a choir on stage until they started singing and I was like, holy shit, this is making it even more epic. And just the orchestra, I don't know who wrote the orchestra parts, but they deserve an award because it sounded so good. It wasn't overtaking the song. It was complimenting it. And it just sounded so full and vibrant and just, I had chills that whole time. I don't think I can ever listen to Doomed, not at the Royal Albert Hall. I'm in shock. Like, obviously I can't take this as a regular Bring Me the Horizon performance, but like, guys, that was insanity. I just loved every aspect of it. I loved the long intro of the orchestra because it's like introducing them. I love how they kept all the elements of the original song, even the (sighs) breathing parts. I just am absolutely obsessed with this version and I think it's phenomenal. I just need to Google Royal Albert Hall Bring Me the Horizon vinyl. It's a rare vinyl, eh? That's a shame. Someone is selling it for $2,000. Okay, no thank you. All right, let's keep going. Happy song. Okay, let's do it. Fucking epic. The chills just don't stop. idea what's happening.
I guess they're gonna start a pit. <laughs> wow, his voice is beautiful. Shut up! That's sick. Okay. Thank you. I'm actually just blown away. Listen, the Royal Albert Hall is like one of those iconic venues that I would kill to see a show live. I don't care who's there. I just want to be in that venue. But seeing a pit happen in this venue, my dreams have changed. I need to see a hardcore rock band at the Royal Albert Hall with a symphony where there's a pit. I think this is probably like one of those concerts. If I got to go, you would never see my phone up in the air. I would just be losing my shit in the crowd because obviously they filmed it. Why do I need to film it? They're going to do a better job. Ah, oh, I hate every single one of you who went to the show and I didn't even know about them back then. How funny is that? <laughs> All right, let's, let's listen to the next song. This is so cool. And I thought Aurora's Royal Albert Hall performances were epic. I'm also very curious about the organ player in this show. I need you to do me a favor. I need you all to fucking jump. No jump. problem. Jump. Taking the band is amazing.
over how good his voice is live. The band just sounds like on point. I know how to sing at a concert for them now. I didn't know there was so much crowd participation. I love it. As loud as you can. It's so crazy as someone who has just learned about most of these songs, hearing them live for the first time, but hearing them live with an orchestra, it just, it's a little a bit of a mind fuck, you know, because I think I should have listened to their songs live before hearing it with an orchestra because now my expectations are super duper high. Um, but I know they're good live. I can tell they're good live but I really need to watch some live footage of them without an orchestra because I just want to hear the raw rock of it all. But when you add an orchestra to any band, I am I become a puddle of freaking mush. I'm obsessed with orchestras in rock music. And if I haven't mentioned this, I saw Evanescence with an orchestra. <laughs> Blew my mind. It was like Evanescence was made to have an orchestra behind them. You cannot listen to Evanescence without an orchestra now. It's just not the same. So I have a feeling this is going to be the same for me. So I will definitely be streaming this album a lot. It's a shame there are no vinyls for this that are not hundreds or thousands of dollars. That's a shame. And that's okay. That's what I get for being a late fan. Tis life. All right, let's hit the next song. How we feeling out the hole? I'm glad Good there's some talking. From Sheffield, England. This is fucking mental. I bet. I can't even imagine the rehearsals for this. It needs to be louder than that. Come on, Yorkshire. We're going to play you a song we've never played before. What song is this? Avalanche, okay. So is this a song they've never done live before until now? Someone tell me. Listen to this, this is nuts. There's a fucking harp, you guys. song is everything.
guitar. Oh, Ruger. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. We're listening to Bring Me the Horizon. I know you can't hear it, but it's really good. So, stop it. Sorry about that, guys, but on this channel, we get dog interruptions. I apologize. I'm going to rewind like 10 seconds or so. All right, I have to give some kudos to the orchestra because can you imagine being asked to be in Bring Me the Horizon and let's just say you don't know who they are and you're learning these songs and you're just like, this is not my vibe, but this is my job. I'm going to do it, right? So you just professionally do your thing. I'm just looking for that one person in that orchestra who is like a hardcore fan because if I was a violinist or a harpist or a trumpet player, whatever, while I'm not playing, I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be rocking out. Like, you know what I mean? Oh my God, I'm dead. This song could not sound any more beautiful. It's, it may, it's making me love Avalanche even more than I already do. It's phenomenal. The way they did this, especially with the vocals and the back, like the background singers, they are stunning. It's just ridiculous how many artists have done this, but it just makes your music sound so much better. But don't get me wrong, the originals are still great too, but this is this is insane. All right, let's keep going. I didn't even check like the set list. I'm just going with it. I don't even know what song this is.
am loving these moments of just the orchestra though, like starting off the song. It's gorgeous. I could listen to this shit all day.
right, listen, there's a lot going on. I feel like I'm having a brain explosion because I'm trying to focus on the orchestra. I'm trying to focus on hearing this band live technically for the first time in a full concert. I'm focusing on Ollie's vocals. I'm focusing on the band, the drummer, the guitarist, the bassist. Oh my God. There's just so much happening. And then the camera workers, whoever's filming this shit, impeccable job at getting the orchestra and the band and the crowd and, you know, the venue. It's just beautifully done. I feel like if I were to enter heaven, this is how I want it to sound like. It's comforting, but it's also heavenly. It's heavy and heavenly. Heavenly. Heaven. Heaven. I'm thinking of an album title for myself. Heavenly heaven. No. Heavily heaven. Ooh. (laughs) Don't steal that idea. I am in shock. I think my brain actually can't comprehend hearing this. uh, Because obviously I've only heard studio versions of these albums and these songs. So it's really hard to comprehend hearing them live for the first time with a fucking orchestra. This is absolutely nuts. I'm, I don't know what to do. My brain is like overloaded with so much dopamine right now. I I have chills in my eyes. Like I don't know how to explain this to you guys. This is ridiculous. I just think this is so incredibly beautiful for like, that song it never ends being such a heavy ass song it literally felt like heaven doors were opening like it felt unreal it was like the heaviest song but created to make you feel like you're floating this was incredible let's keep going because i'm gonna lose my shit I don't know what this link is that keeps popping up, but that's okay. It's not me, guys. I'm not promoting anything. (laughs) Just like to make sure this is on the best quality. chills in my head. I I just, I can't. Wow. What a magical song live. The whole crowd is singing. Holy shit.
Amazing. Woo! It's really interesting that as soon as that song started, I got like full body goosebumps. It's crazy how like their music makes me feel even as a new fan. I can't even imagine the people who have been listening to Sempaternal for however long it came out. When did this album come out? 2013, so almost 10 years of loving this album. I can't imagine what it's like hearing this song live. But for a new fan, like for me, I've only heard Sleepwalking this year. And for it to like make me feel the way it does when they sing it live is crazy. Oh my God, that means I'm a mega fan now, huh? That's okay. I'm okay with it. I think this is incredible. I think their set list so far has been incredible. I'm really curious to see if there's something from Suicide Season on this, but like I have no idea. Uh, as soon as the song starts and I figure out what it is, I go see what album it's on because I'm the worst with song titles. But to be fair, I can kind of tell which album it's from. So as soon as I heard Sleepwalking, I was like, oh my God, this is like some paternal like we're doing this i'm in awe of this performance guys i don't know how I, I don't know why i thought i could just do the whole thing because it's really really long but um i might have to do a part one part two kind of thing because I, I don't think i'm gonna have enough time so we're on song eight and there's 16 so let's finish with empire and then um, I'll finish the rest tomorrow. I feel like Empire is going to be pretty epic because I remember listening to it for the first time and I said, the crowd participation in this song must be insane. So I'm stoked to see this live for the first time, especially with an orchestra. So it's 12 years and a week today we played our first ever show. Wow. For the Charter's Arms. This is all for you. Surrender the throne, the blood of my hands covers the holes. We've been surrounded by vicious cycles. And we're truly alone. Call on your heart and yours to atone. We've been surrounded. Let us sing. Take the dark ring, girl! 
The crazy thing about this show is really just the fact that not only is you know the band there, the orchestra is there, but the crowd is being so on point with their job as well. And I love that so much. I swear to God, if I could redo my life over, I would grow up in the UK because the UK music scene is fucking insane. It's insane. And there's so many bands that I don't know of because they don't reach to Canada and that pisses me off um, obviously bring me the horizon has reached here but I just never really listened to them which was a shame can we just talk about all these vocals for a second what the fuck he's so good live he has a very angelic singing voice but his screams I'm just like basing this off of I've just listened to suicide season and his voice was so fucking annoying his screams are impeccable they're gorgeous they're they're so good they might become one of my favorite screams to be fair because that's how lovely they are I am in shock I am in shock I also didn't know there's another guy on stage that kind of takes over Ollie's vocals and screams some shit too so I don't know who that is let me know his voice is incredible he kind of gave me a Derek Wibley sounding voice the guy from Sum 41 the lead singer He's got a similar voice to Derek, so it's it, it's weird listening to this because it's like you hear Ollie sing, and then it's like you hear Derek Wibley in the background <laughs> singing too, and it's so fucking strange. Uh, but obviously that is not Derek. Guys, I'm beyond impressed with this. Unfortunately, I don't have time to watch the rest, but I'm going to be putting out a part two so you can continue this journey with me, but it will be out at the exact same time this one is, so go check it out. This is nuts. <laughs> honestly bring me the horizon their team the band if anyone is watching this please come back to Toronto make my dreams come true I would like to see you live and I know you haven't been here in a really long time and that's not nice that's not nice at all so 2025 seems like a good time let me know if you're free I'll be free so just let me know when you're here okay see you in part two <laughs>